Hello guys and welcome. It's Engineering Rebel and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the circuit that I built known as a bi-stable circuit. Now, personally, I've done a lot of modifications to mine to make it unique and also to make it more advanced. And this circuit is proof that you can actually make your own electronic circuit at home if you have the correct supplies. So let's begin. So unlike my previous electronic video, I'm going to make this video a little bit different and instead of rebuilding this circuit, I'll show you guys around and explain what each part is, what parts you will need, and how everything comes together along with some of the cool functions of this circuit. So first, I'm going to show you guys the parts and those parts are the ones that you will need in order to make this circuit. So you could see that we have four resistors and that they are in groups. That's because two of them on each side are exactly the same. So these two are the same and those two are the same, except they have different ratings. So this little one here with a little golden stripe and this golden stripe are exactly the same. So those two are 100K resistors. These ones on the ends are 1K. These resistors are what help limit the voltage and make it safe for the LED and for the transistor. And by the way, both transistors are BC547s. You can also see that as you move down, we have two 51K resistors and also around the entire circuit, we have jumper cables, which you will also need. And also another pair of jumper cables, the ones with these little prongs in order to connect it to your battery. The battery should preferably be a 9 volt battery along with some alligator clips to hold everything in place. You can see that we have two parameters which I'll explain in just a sec. We have a little buzzer and a little switch. And the most important thing that you will need are the two LEDs. They can both be the same color or any color of your choice. Now I'm quickly going to explain how all the parts come together. I'm going to start from this corner and move my way across. So you can see that we have our two leads and this is what powers the circuit. Then you can see that I have a parameter and a buzzer. These two wires are what ground the parameter along with the buzzer. And you can see that this green wire is for the parameter and this is the positive and this yellow wire is for the buzzer and this is also the positive. So these green and yellow wire is the positive. These two blues are what ground both of them. Then, in order to tie this entire little system here all together, I have this yellow jumper cable feeding this side of the breadboard to this side and connecting it to the positive bit of the LED. You can also see that we have a ground cable for the LED, which is this black piece right here, and we have two resistors on both sides protecting the transistor and the LED. You can also see that we have another parameter. Now, this is for the green LED. So when I go ahead to turn it, I can slowly dim the green LED and turn on the red one, which creates the beeping noise. Then we have a switch here. Now, instead of using this parameter, which is very gradual, if you want the red light to turn on along with the sound immediately, then you would press this button. And this parameter is what would adjust this LED along with the sound. So if I turn this, You can see that as I turn this dial, the red light adjusts and so does the sound. And the beauty is that I could completely turn it off, like so. And while that's turned off, I could separately control the green LED. Again, more on the function in a bit. Again, this switch was originally here where it would ordinarily be, but you know, it's not convenient to reach all the way over here. So I just moved it further this way using the jumper cables and gave it a proper ground. Ah, yes, my favorite part, the functionality. So here's the things that this circuit can do. So you can currently see that the green LED is on max brightness. Now, if I wanna turn on the red LED very quickly and temporarily, I would need to press this button. And when the red LED turns on, that would trigger the buzzer. Now let's say I don't wanna hold my finger there for a while and I want the red LED to turn on along with the sound, then I could just turn this dial and it will stay there. Also, let's just say that I completely wanna turn the circuit off. 
then what I could do is I could switch this to a red LED and then twist this dial and the red LED will turn off along with the sound. A cool thing about this circuit is that while all the lights are off, I could actually separately control this green LED along with the brightness and flash it while the red LED along with the buzzer and pedometer are off. So all I have to do is just to slowly flip the switch and I can adjust the brightness. I can also flash it or turn it off temporarily like that. And if I just want to completely turn it off, all I have to do is just to flip the switch. If I want to turn it back on, I could turn on the green LED and then I could turn on the red LED. But notice how the red LED has not turned on. That's because the voltage is going to the green one because the green LED is turned on. Now if I were to turn the green LED off, the red LED would turn on and the noise would go off. Now while the green LED is turned off, I can also separately control the red one. However, I cannot flash the red one, but I could control the sound and the brightness separately. And if I wanted to work as regular, I would flip the red LED on. And then when I go ahead to flip the green one on, the red LED turns off. Then when I go to press the button, the red LED would turn on and make the noise. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was definitely a lot of fun to make this circuit. I think it's my most advanced one, but I'm sure I will make an even better one in the future. Please stay in tune for more videos, so hit that subscribe button and also follow me on Patreon at Engineering Rebel. I will see you guys in the next one.